Hello, my name is Joel Helgeson with Appient. I've been commissioned to do a web server security audit. The information that I've discovered, if you click on eNorthwestern here, notice that it says username and password. Well, let's try a common SQL injection technique where I do hack or one equals one hyphen hyphen. I'm going to copy that. Control C and I'll type in the word me and then I'll paste this control V into the password field. Well when I click on login it says your password can only contain numbers, letters, or the underscore. Well, that's not good enough for me. So what I will do is let's go in and click on view source. Now that I have the source in front of me. I'm going to modify a few things. I'm going to be viewing the page offline, so I'm going to do HTTPS Okay, that's because I'm going to be viewing this offline and I'm going to go ahead and take out some of this information that I don't need which is on submit if what to do if any of the information passes back as being false. This is the information that, you know, if I enter my information incorrectly, it's going to return back. It's saying, um, you screwed up. I'll also take out this JavaScript. I'll scroll down to here. And right here is some more JavaScript that I just want to get rid of. Get rid of all that script text password type password I want to change that to type text and max length I need more than 10 fields so I'll do 11 now that we've made all the modifications I'm going to save as C colon backslash hacked dot HTML now we're back to our browser window I'm going to type in file colon slash 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 c colon backslash hacked dot html all right now i can type in whatever i want here and because i enabled the text field you can see what i type there i type in hacker and for the password i type in whack or one equals one hyphen hyphen I have now disabled all authentication and by logging in it comes back with a first record in the database which is Allison I can take a look at her grades and right there's her social security number oh you can see she was born in 74